Hey, welcome to the uh, Gadgets channel and uh, this is a look and uh, review of the Logitech K400 keyboard, wireless keyboard. Uh, now this is, uh, depending on where you'll buy it, um, I personally paid $39 for it. Um, on the web I've seen it at 45 from 40 to 50 dollars depending on where it is sold and uh, this is a uh, actually a keyboard that is made for one solution is that if you have a PC that's on your TV because more and more what's happening is that PCs and TVs are kind of merging together um, and this addresses one very important factor. If you put your laptop or a PC on your television, your HD TV, uh, well, you don't want to, you know, stay in front of your computer to use a keyboard. You want to have the uh, possibility to move away at a certain distance, you know, sit down on your couch, just like the picture here in the box, you know, the lady is on her couch and controlling whatever. PC on or TV and that's the main usage of the Logitech K400 keyboard and what makes this wireless keyboard interesting for that use is that most wireless keyboards come with a wireless mouse and you got two separate devices a keyboard and a mouse and a mouse needs a pad. If you don't have a pad, you're going to have a hard time using a mouse because it needs to have a hard surface to work on. So this kind of puts together a keyboard and a, a kind of a mouse pad on the same device. So you don't have to use a separate mouse. You've got the same device that does everything and that's the cool part of the Logitech K400. So I bought this device for one main reason. I've got a dongle that is a Android mini PC that plugs into my HD TV. And to use it, well, I need a keyboard and a mouse. Um, and what happens is that with the keyboard and a mouse, I was thinking, well, you know, I could have a keyboard, a separate mouse. I'll have a little hard, you know, cover pad or book or something to use the mouse. But then I stumbled upon this keyboard at my local computer shop and thought that this would be the device to use, actually. So, it incorporates everything you need in a keyboard, which is this little keyboard here. And on the right side, you've got a pad, a mouse pad. And um, it actually works really well. You've got your mouse left and right click buttons if you need and of course you've got a few shortcuts on the top here including the uh, home button and uh, the shutdown and turn on your PC if you want uh, so it's quite interesting and uh, its range is really really good for example I'm making this review I'm more than oh, I would say I'm about 30 feet away now from my uh, my TV and I noticed that when I was touching the pad here I see the mouse pointer moving around so 30 feet away it's still working really well gives you an idea that this keyboard is very very nice and uh, even if you're a little far away from your TV it's still gonna work really well so um, it's lightweight very lightweight it's pretty thin uh, the biggest part of it is on the, t the bottom here or the top if you want because you need to put two AA batteries in here um, batteries are included in the box so that's nice and uh, basically um, you've got the on off switch right here uh, so when you uh, don't use it you can actually turn off the keyboard so that the batteries won't drain down uh, the feel of the keyboard is good if you have it well placed um, it feels I would say that it feels like a laptop keyboard so if you're used to using a laptop um, it has the feel more of a laptop keyboard than of a desktop keyboard 
Um, and of course, if you don't want to use a mouse, uh, you know, I I'm telling you that this keyboard is really optimized to um, anything that is plugged into your TV that you're at a certain distance. But of course, it, I can see myself using this keyboard um, on a regular PC. If you have a desktop PC, for example, instead of a mouse, why not use this keyboard and have the pad right here? Um, I know that a lot of people don't like pads, and this is one of the first things that I notice is people tend to buy a wireless mouse instead of using the pad on their laptops. And uh, so, of course, here you're using a pad. And the pad has a few gestures, including, uh, of course, if you tap, you click. If you double tap two fingers, you right click, which is a nice feature. Of course, you've got the regular uh, left and right buttons. So, uh, depending on what you want to do, uh, you've got your uh, left and right click. Uh, keys are very responsive. I've not seen any problems. Uh, this thing is as easy as it gets. You just plug in the very small dongle that comes with it and um, it just works. Once you turn on the keyboard, it just works. One of the interesting features is that it also gives you, they give you two little parts with the dongle. I'll show you here. They give you the small dongle, which is very small. So this is good if you don't want to have anything, you know, uh, being too too big onto one of your USB ports. This is cool because it's really small. But if you need to put it a little farther away, uh, maybe because your computer is uh, making interference with the keyboard, or simply because you want to have it, uh, it's the only way you can really plug it in is you need to extend it a little bit. It comes with this little extension. So you can either plug the, dong the little dongle directly into the computer or put the extension so it's a little far away and then put your dongle inside. So uh, two ways, which is very nice because uh, most keyboards don't give you this extra piece. And sometimes it is useful, especially on a desktop computer, uh, to kind of, you know, put the little dog a little farther away from the metal case um, and it will probably give you more range if you use it. I've actually used it uh, because on my um, little Android mini PC um, I had a little problem just the dongle but when I put the extension to put it a little far away from the TV everything started working much much better so it's probably the reason why they give you this uh, little uh, this little thing here so um, takes two AA batteries and um, now on the drain of the batteries I don't know I haven't tested long enough yet. I've had this keyboard for a week so um, really don't know how long the batteries should uh, actually uh, stay in this uh, device and how long they will last. Uh, so there's two AA alkaline batteries that are uh, included in the box and um, so I would expect in today's standards and the fact that this keyboard is quite um, you know something new um, it should give me uh, many months of use, I would, uh, I would think, you know. Uh, devices today are very, very low power drain. And, uh, you know, the fact there's an on-off button, you can put it off, so if you, uh, you know, accidentally use, press a key or touch the keyboard or put something on the keyboard, your batteries won't drain down. So, uh, no CDs with this thing, it doesn't need anyway because most uh, most computers today have their own drivers. Uh, you know, this is kind of standard. There's not really anything special and there's no special features on this keyboard. Um, it is clearly made for Windows because it has the Windows key right here on the bottom. And it has a function, uh, blue function key here also. So uh, you can, uh, you know, try different options that are at the top. Um, on my Android mini PC, it's surprising that the volume, um, a few of those, you know, the volume, the search, uh, all trigger uh, a um, the good function in the Android mini device. Uh, I would suspect that on a PC, everything should work pretty, pretty well. And so, uh, hey, 39 bucks that I paid. Um, maybe if you search the web, you'll find it even lower. I don't know. I've looked uh, quickly uh, in a few spots and um, what I noticed is the Logitech 
uh, website uh, tells you that it should be at a mean retail price of $100, which is way too much for this type of keyboard, honestly. Um, but on two or three different websites, including Amazon.com, Amazon sold it for $44.99. So um, you've got a nice little keyboard and if you, you know, you're the kind of person that the way you are installed at your home, you just don't want that mouse to be separate from your keyboard. Uh, hey, this is a great device. Everything's in one. Um, personally, I find it cool because it ha it's used uh, on my um, Android dongle that's on uh, my bedroom TV. So while you're, when you're lying in bed, the last thing you want to have is a mouse. So this, you know, puts everything in one package. So it's pretty cool. So Logitech K400R wireless touch keyboard. Great, great little device. So if you want to have a all-in-one package, and not to worry about any mouse. Um, this is the package to go with. Uh, very, very nice. And um, seems to be quite uh, quality. And it's also very, very light. So if you're looking for something that's really light, it's a good little package here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, thanks for watching. And hope you come back to the Gadgets channel. Bye-bye.